Now, it would be great to rank for keywords with a thousand searches per day, but it's going to be extremely difficult for most people to do because Wikipedia, large companies with big ad budgets, and well-established bloggers typically own the first page of the Google search results for popular one or two keyword terms. The good part is that these popular search terms only make up about 30% of all the searches performed on the web. The other 70% is what's commonly called the long tail. Now, long tail keywords are typically made up of three or more words with lower than average monthly searches, but they're very specific and they typically end up in purchases more often than broad keywords do. Now, Google has said that 20% of the searches done each year are things people have never searched for before, and almost all of them are long tail. Now, long tail keywords are pretty difficult to think of yourself. Long tail pro and hit tail can be useful, but the real long tail keywords are going to come from your potential customers and the words they use in conversation in forums, message boards, comment sections, and on your blog. Now I'm going to walk you through a handful of websites you can use to find good conversational keywords, but to help you get to the first page of the search results for these long tail keywords, you're going to want to set up your own forum. And this is going to benefit you in two ways. Number one, you're going to have potential customers asking you and other forum members questions and without anybody even thinking about it, their responses and the conversation within the forum are going to create long tail keywords that Google will pick up on. It's almost like having a team of writers working for you free of charge. And number two, it allows you to add email addresses to your list since they're going to be entering their email address when they create a screen name that you can then use to send emails about articles and products on your site. Now, if you're not sure how to set up a forum on your blog, I have a link on how to do that in the checklist. It breaks it down step by step. It makes it very easy to understand. Now, three other methods I have that you can use to rank for long tail keywords are to create an FAQ section, a frequently asked questions section on your site. By the way, when I was a kid, I remember seeing FAQ on websites and thinking, why, why does it say fuck you? So set up a, a, an FAQ section with the most commonly asked questions you get from customers. You can also use a website called UserVoice.com or GetSatisfaction.com to find out what people think. Second method, you can create a section on each product page on your site where people can review your products and accessories, and these words are going to help you move up the rankings as well. And finally, uh, this is sort of dependent on whether you have some existing material, maybe something you wrote in the past, an old newsletter, some articles you had written for another blog on the same topic, and just include those all in your website because the more keywords and the more content you have on your website, the better the chances are that Google is going to pick up on that and show you as one of the results in the top 10. So those are some really creative ways you can use to get long tail keywords. And check out the next video. I'm going to show you a couple different websites that you can use to collect even more.